because I feel as if I know you all sort of <laughs> <laughs> before we start, you know. Um, so, Anne, how, how, how long has it been that you've actually realised that, that your pictures were being used by scammers? Um, it's been years. Uh, it's been years and years, but I, I believe that ever since the pandemic, it has, yes. it's, it's just picked up so much speed, uh, but it's been years and years. Uh, and you, I just kind of feel helpless most of the time. Just because you, yeah, you report it, and then sometimes you know social media takes it down. Sometimes they don't. Uh, we get messages but, from people all the time. That was my next question. So you mm -hmm. get messages from women who are victims of. Do they? Do, what, you know, what are they doing? Are they just telling you about it, or are they thinking it's you? Yes, uh, the the people that are a little bit more tech savvy have kind of, you know, they figured it out so they come they message me and they let me know that hey my pictures are being used and you know and things like that but there are people that are completely convinced that it is me i'm talking to uh they're talking to they they, they they've done video calls these people they take our videos uh you mean they voice over it they've even called my wife some some of the women call my wife and just like, hey, I, I don't know if you know if your husband's talking to me and little yeah, things I mean, like that. You know, the thing I the thing that I feel about this is is the fact that the, one of the reasons we started to do the live chats was because they do do fake video chats. Now, to me, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is a video chat where I can yes. say something, you say something, I yes. reply. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything less than this. It's not a video chat. Yeah, that's right. And, and also, when they do a voiceover, it is not your voice. Mm -hmm. So when we've got, and, and I know that you do videos, and um, I have seen them on your site, you, you talking about being used in scams. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, it's sort of um, as you would chat to somebody. Because if you were talking to somebody, and you were so in love with them, and you had a video chat with them, it wouldn't be a a chat of you driving or mm -hmm. you know or sat talking about something else yeah well i i think that uh the situation is a little different for you and i because we are awoken right we know yeah. kind of yeah. what that is yeah. but these women that are madly in love or they're attracted to the the opposite uh like and their number one excuse is there's no reception, their phone is not working. Mm -hmm. I mean, those little things that I think like, well, us, we know, right? No. We, know that, we know that's just not true. And once again, if a conversation goes really fast and you can't speak to them, it's not really a chat, you know? And I always think that it's 2021 and almost everybody has a good phone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is the one thing that we do like to spend our money on. Almost everybody has a good phone. Um, and so when they say things like, I haven't got a phone, I'm using a, a computer <laughs> and it hasn't got a webcam. Yeah. Or, you know, I haven't, you know, my phone camera's broken. Mm -hmm. Well, you know somebody else with a phone camera. You, mm -hmm. you know, your phone camera's got two. It's got one at the front and one at the back. So, mm -hmm. you know, one thing I find is a lot of women, when they, when they uh, or, or scammers are finding, women are quite passive. Mm -hmm. So if they say, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't got a camera, the woman says, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, they don't <laughs> challenge it. They yeah. tend to believe everything that, mm -hmm. um, that is said to them on their phone. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you for the record, because I know what the, um, the answer to this is going to be. Aaron, you are not a surgeon in Yemen. No. <laughs> Definitely not. No, you have been in Yemen and Syria, for, for the ones that I've seen. Uh, and you are not on an oil rig. I am not on an oil rig. Have you ever been on an oil rig? I have never been on an oil rig, <laughs> and I don't plan to be on an oil rig. It's not a vacation spot I'm looking forward to, no. you know? No, it's, it's not a lifestyle choice of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the thing that you know people are too ready to believe that mm -hmm. well this random man on an oil rig or, or this random doctor in syria mm -hmm. you know is talking to me and they don't challenge it and another thing aaron is the fact that you said there that you get um 
communication from these women. And so does your wife. Now, mm -hmm. how can I say this? Um, we are all very easy to find after the scam. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't seem to want to look into it before the scam. And yet, very, very quickly afterwards, um, they seem to find us to talk to, you to talk to, your wife to talk to, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I would like to be, I would like to, to get the word out there that people really, you know, if you've been contacted by somebody you don't know to do some research. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in my situation, uh, I know that Anya just, the, ever since I found out about your page, I've uh, been doing a lot of research, been watching a lot of things. I think that my, what I also want to share is uh, something that is, uh, was pretty shocking for myself uh, because when I initially was approached by all of this stuff and all the, uh, I guess these scams started happening, yeah. uh, it was mainly romance scam. Uh, that's what I just kind of started assuming. Uh, but lately, I think within the last maybe, I would say year or a year something, uh, there has been a lot of uh, investment scams. Yes, the big yes. one. Yes, the Bitcoin, the investment scam, the inheritance, the the, yes. the transferring money into your bank account, and you know, moving laundering money and things like that. Mm -hmm. they, so I've I've done uh, yeah I've, I've done some research. I've got notifications of people. They've created charity business sites. Mm -hmm. They've created business full full blown businesses mm -hmm. to get investments, and and, and they use my picture. They use my name and just on all these different things. I think that that's a whole nother level of, I mean, like I said, these, these guys, they, they have all the time in the world. You know this I mean? is their it's, job, it's, this is their career. Yeah, it, it's an organization, it's not one person. And they, they have scripts and they have the, all these different things. So if you're a, a victim, I want, I want the victims to, to speak up because sometimes they kind of, I know like when I speak to some of the victims, they're afraid to speak up because they feel they feel like they're stupid now. They feel like they've been yes. scammed, and, you know what I mean? And they're afraid to message out now and they just kind of yes. keep it to themselves, and, you know? And I want them to know that it, it's okay. Let us know these are professionals. They, yes. they, this, they do this for a living. This is all they do. Each person speaks to millions of women, you know? And, and it needs to be the only way. They're, they're not going to stop it. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter what is said, whatever. Their country is is corrupt. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, a, it, it's just a form of life there. It's what they do. So they mm -hmm. aren't going to stop it. It's far too lucrative. Why mm -hmm. would you go out to work when you can earn 10 times more a week? Yeah. Um, just sat there with your phone, with your laptop, that you've managed to scam the money for from somebody um, yeah. and, and, and make thousands. So, yeah. you know, then and to me, the only way this will stop is to when people will speak out and mm -hmm. and and just you know do you don't need to say to somebody oh I've lost so many thousands to to, to to I found out that you know this is happening online would do fine the mm -hmm. word is going to have to get round there I I'm used in in job recruiting mm -hmm. I, I've seen the mm -hmm. ID card that they made with my picture yeah uh, on a website uh, mm -hmm. and I was selling. Um, you know, jobs and visas, you know? Wow. And, and I, I didn't know it until obviously somebody sent it to me. I think I'm Keisha somebody. Um, and I, I, on, on my Facebook page, I blocked down everything except one. One picture mm -hmm. was on there, and that's the one that they got. Of course it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you've got no control of it. And I think, yeah. you know, I think people have to realize mm -hmm. that you've got no control over yeah. this, this happening. Yeah, I, I love the fact that you brought that up because a lot of the victims also blame us, right? They also blame us and they're like, why don't you do something about it? Yeah, I've confronted these people. I've messaged them and I've done, I mean, we've, we've filed police before, we've filed the FBI, we've done all these different things. And when you message these guys, they're like, come get me, come find me. They don't care. They know that no one's gonna go there. No one's gonna know where they're hiding. I mean, they just they're just they feel like they're invincible, you know. And that's why they can go and talk to so many different people. Yeah. So we've tried, you know, what I mean, we've tr tried everything, and especially in this generation, because this generation, due to pandemic, due to everything, it's kind of fast forward. 
I guess, the way people do business, the way people's lives are, it's all on social media. I mean, you can Google my name, you'll find pictures, you'll find videos, you can find all these different things. And that's why some people are like, well, why isn't your account on private? And why aren't you blocking? I, I've blocked thousands of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I've, sent, I've sent it to you how many accounts I've blocked, you know? Uh, I often think I often think we've got more blocks than we've got <laughs> followers. You know? That's true. Yeah, um, yeah, and and you see, you know, the, the the thing is that you can't shame them, you can't threaten them, you can't do yeah. anything. You know, and and I I've I've tried. I've got a really bad temper, and and my my temper, you know, my sort of like attention span is like that long. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think, well, no, you know, he's. Because I, I get them, because I've got widowed on mine, because I, I left it on there because it, mm. it, it winds them up, it, it attracts mm. them. Um, and I, I'm not going to take it off mm -hmm. because I am one. And, and mm -hmm. I'm not going to take it off because some Nigerians mm -hmm. are going to be coming after me. Um, mm. But they will very often do me um, voice calls, which, <laughs> which I find. And I'll say something about, you know, Nigerian. I'm not. I'm li I'm in America. Well, you know, uh -huh. um, most of them have re just really, really thick African accents, mm -hmm. and they sat there, and they will tell you, you know, they will tell you that red was black, but they will they they don't they don't give up. Mm -hmm. You know, you can say well, anything you like to them, and yeah. they will say, no, I'm not. I'm in America. I'm in California. I'm in Germany. I'm, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking. Listen to yourself. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. I, I think I think like what you mentioned and, and what I mentioned earlier, the the women and the people, they want to believe something. Yeah, you know I mean, and that's why they believe it. And well, even though when they finally as soon as anyone contacts me, I'm like, let's do a video call. Yeah. There is no pro <laughs> I have no problem doing a video call. I'm yeah. not on an oil rig. I, I mean I, right? <laughs> I, I tell them let's do a video call. I get on a video call with them and they're just like Oh, I've seen all your videos. I've seen all this stuff, and you sound just like him. And then they send me a video clip of him, and this huge Nigerian accent. You can, I mean, the harder part for me, I think, is I spent my life building my career, building my businesses, yeah. building all these different things, and you know. And I'm at a point in my life now that I'm about my family. I'm about my daughter. I have a daughter, my wife, and things. And the harder part is when they take my daughter's videos yes. or I, I anything. Don't like that. You know what I mean those those are the harder things, and they make they voice over her and they use her to, you know, to get all this, you know. And they they use her to pretend to email a woman mm -hmm. and yeah. call her mom. Yeah. You know, and and why we can sit here and say, well, come on, you know, who's going to fall for that? But. You know, I had a lovely woman, a really, really lovely woman, and it wasn't your pictures; it was it was somebody else's, and he had two two daughters, and she had been talking to them. This lady could never have children, and it's all she'd wanted. Yep, yep. And he was saying to her, "You're a wonderful woman. I'm proud that you're going to be the mother of my daughters." And yep. she she got a room ready for them. She got presents under a Christmas tree. It's Christmas. Yep. And she'd gone to the to the airport, and of course nobody had turned up, and and her heart was completely broken, mm -hmm. and her only sin was that she believed. Yeah, I, I don't think the viewers know how often I get notifications from women with those exact same stories, yeah. where. They've had only uh, boys in their family, and that's their, yes. I mean, the, the daughter yes. or something. Like that. And they've bought gifts, and they've done all these different things. Like, I hear so many of those. And the stories that these guys share, they're flawless. They share these yes. stories. Apparently, my wife has passed away during the birth of our daughter. Mm -hmm. And it's just so sad. My daughter's at home because I'm away, uh, you know, on business or on her oil rig, and she's an orphan. And you mean send her money, and and then they have, and like you mentioned with these these fake IDs, I have I feel like I'm a secret agent or something. I have a passport in every country, you an do. ID. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's just when they send it to me, I was like, okay, first of all, if we were in any type of a relationship, I've never had a relationship where I had to send a person my passport no. to prove who I am, you know? 
Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I, like, think well, that's a, I think it's the first big, um, you know, that you, you might be on a, a military ID card. Yeah. Um, you know, you might be on, on a passport, you know, nice smiley face on a passport. Um, yeah. and, and, I, and, and I think they're, they're, they're often sent to you quickly. Because I know, yeah. you know, I, they, they come, as I said, they come to me. I like to talk to them for a day or two. I've not got the temper to talk to them any longer. Um, but they'll say, I'll prove who I am. I'll send you my passport. Now, you know, the thing is, the quicker that they want to send the passport, the more fake they are. Yeah. Because you just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I've done business for over 30 years with people all around the world. And I've yeah. never once had to share my ID or passport. But as well, Aaron, you would never say, you would never have um, a, a, a business associate. Somebody yes. that you didn't, that, that you, you know, maybe talked to a few times in a different country. I'm mm -hmm. not saying uh, romantically, but somebody you knew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and you'd done business with, and, and you mm -hmm. knew who they were. You, you knew that yeah. person was real. So, and then there would never be a time in your life when you would have to say to that person, um, my bank account's frozen. Yeah. So you could give me your bank account <laughs> so I could put some money in, please. Yeah, I mean, the bank account issue is just, I, I, there's there's some small little little hints of uh, cleverness there, right? Where they transfer money into your account. Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh, this can't be a scam because they transfer money into my yeah. account. Yeah. Oh, but now I'm traveling, so can you transfer this money over to an associate, mm -hmm. right? So you're, you don't like, the average person who hasn't experienced it really we like- have a Nigerian. Yeah, yeah. You have a Nigerian, Okasun, innocent. You're not innocent, sweetheart. Um, yeah. Joe, can you get rid of our interloper, please? Thanks. Sorry, Aaron, you can go on yeah. that. No, 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 no problem. Yeah, uh, it's, it's fantastic you're monitoring all of that. Just because <laughs> they're, they're going to use this video like, look, see, look, I'm oh, real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they'll, they'll send me so I get taken down to the voodoo temple every week. Oh, the death yeah. threats that I get are just absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So as I said, there would never be a time. No. Because again, I'll, I'll bring up that it's 2021. Um, mm. There would never be a time. You're a businessman. Yeah. Now, I'm assuming non-COVID times that you travel. Yeah. Around the world. I've been around the world. Yeah. To many different places. Mm. How many? How many different places have you gone to where you couldn't use your bank account or your ATM card? Never. Or your, or your credit card. Never. Well, first of all, if I'm labeled as a business person, I would already know to call my banks to approve when I go to certain countries, whether I'm in the UK or in Asia yeah. or in, in, I mean, I would know these things. And you know, I wouldn't go, oh, I, I'm accidentally uh, in Indonesia and my banks, how did you get there? You know, how did you not plan this ahead, you know? And, and, I, and I, you know, they'll say things like, he didn't have any money to get a return ticket, not to, to, to fly back. Yeah. Who doesn't get a return ticket? <laughs> you know, um, you, you just don't. Yeah. So you can, you can pick holes in absolutely everything that they say. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that, I think that it starts with, it starts with uh, being curious. It starts with not taking every information for what it is, you know? You got to, I guess, it, because times have changed and this is the new wave of scams, right? They don't need your social security number. They don't need your iTax ID. They don't need all the data. They just need your picture. And then they can just create all this and make so much income, right? Whatever the case may be. So because we're in this times, it's, like I said, you just have to question someone or you have to get on a call with someone before you give them money or kick money into your account and do all these different things like how do you, you know, how do you do business without actually talking to someone yeah you know and and he's a he's a prominent businessman or or is it you know i've heard <clears throat> this this is you I, i'll tell you about yourself now i'm because you, you might not know this um but you've been on a, an oil rig and you actually own the oil rig uh -huh. so you're richer than you actually thought mm -hmm. <laughs> you actually own the oil rig and you know you millions in the bank because the, mm -hmm. the uh, a, a fake bank account was given and she could log into it well if anybody could log mm -hmm. into my bank account i think i'd be worried about that i mean mm -hmm. you know, there, there is security in in banks yeah um anyway 
he logged into it and you had something like seven million in the bank, I think. And that was just your checking account. So that was just, you know, everyday money. Um, but they couldn't get to that money. So he actually had equipment that was broken on the oil rig that he needed. I think it was 50,000. Uh -huh. But, you know, if, if, if she could just send the 50,000 or, well, maybe 40,000 or if he could only manage 20,000, then he could um, actually come and see her and, and be there, you know. Now, you've got to think about this, that the man who is working, you know, the, the owner of the oil rig, the owner of the gas and oil yeah. company is not going to be on the oil rig. Yeah. If he can, if he can um, contact you, he can contact his bank, yeah. you know, and, and it's getting people to think. Yeah. Well, really, you know, they have to, they have to see, like you said, once again, see through that mist or the, you know what I mean, the, whatever the belief that they have, because if this person is a multimillionaire, right? How would he ever, that means he's solution driven, right? That means yes. how, how can he ever not have a solution for a, a bank transaction that is locked in or yes. whatever the case, you mean, when you own an oil rig or when you, you mean, are at that level of success, how would you have a challenge you yes. mean, getting to your, your income or your money yes. or whatever the case you would, so you would, I would have never, never had a problem, yeah. Um, I've never had that much money, but you know, but, but yeah, and I think very, very often if we can get people to step back and mm -hmm. think about it, maybe mm -hmm. tell a friend, you know, and, and think about if that friend's telling you the exact same story, what would you say to her? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say, well, that sounds a bit strange. Yeah. I, I would, you know, I, I would look into that. Um, mm -hmm. And, and we've got to get people to question everything. Mm -hmm. Well, you know? my, like I said, I, I, I do, I travel the world. I speak uh, on stage. I'm a keynote speaker. I speak, you know, about uh, businesses and mm -hmm. things like that. And one of the things I share a lot is looking at a challenge or a situation from a different angle or from a yeah. different perspective, right? That's why when we are in a certain relationship and we don't see the challenges, but somehow our friends know exactly what's wrong because they're come up from, coming from a different perspective, right? That's why uh, fighters are in the ring and they have a coach outside to kind of coach them, right? So a little thing that, so take a step back and look at it from a different angle. And if you see that, let's see it from a different angle, you'll see all the red flags. You'll see, you know what I mean? The fact that this guy won't pick up a call. The, you know I mean? The fact that, you know, to, to set up a video call, it takes a, quite a long time before he gets everything ready, you know what I mean? To, to yeah. play a video and, you know I mean? And all these things that you're not really saying anything in this video call and, you know, if they can just see it from a different angle that, wait a minute, that, there, there's, a, there's a lot of red flags here. Yes. And, you know, I, I always say that it doesn't matter who you're talking to. If you start a video call with somebody, and I've done lots of them, you've, you'd have done lots of them, um, you know, but I've done lots of them with relation to this, to, to this um, situation. You know, you get the connection. As soon as the, the video gets connected, you smile and say hello. Yes. So if, if you've got a video call of somebody driving down the road saying, well, the traffic's not very good today. You know, it's not going to be real, is it? <laughs> you know, let's face it. So, I mean, there's one thing that, that you said on, on your website about, which I, mm -hmm. I, I, I liked, um, which is about telling um, a fake profile from, mm -hmm. um, yeah. from, from a normal one. You were mm -hmm. saying about... Um, how a normal profile looks because you've got friends mm -hmm. and family and comments mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and tell my yeah. lady that for me. Yeah, so you can really, really always tell. Like, if they're just, if you look at a profile and there's just pictures, that's number one, right? Yeah. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no real friends. There's no real comments. There's no engagement with the yeah. comments if there was one or two or whatever the case may be. Uh, no real content. Uh, they're just sharing videos from other sites. They're just sharing those things. You know I mean, you, you can you can tell right away because it's not real. That's why I get so many friend requests. I looked at the the their page, and you know right away. Like, okay, there's just a few pictures. Sometimes they go really elaborate, and they have a lot of pictures. 
right? They have uh, interactions, but they still don't have interaction. Because, yep, there's no, there's know, no engagement. You know, there's the, no, the thing mm -hmm. I think about is, is if, if I've got two sons, so mm -hmm. if either of those put pictures on their Facebook page of my grandchildren, I would make a comment. Um, other mm -hmm. members of the family and friends would make a comment, even if it was just, oh, he's growing fast or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, mm -hmm. you have you have personal comments that actually mean yeah. nothing. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and you go you go on their page and there's no comment. Nothing at all. At all. You know, you have yeah. pictures of, 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 of the child's doing something and there's yeah. nothing. There's yeah. nobody has, yeah. has commented on that at all. And that's a massive red flag. Yeah. Because it's not personal. And yeah. and social media profiles are very personal. Mm -hmm. um, well, it used to be. I don't put a lot on mine, but because um, <laughs> I can't, oh, I really don't like it. Um, but yeah, and and I I wish I knew what to do to yeah. get more the word out to more and more. I mean, we 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 make these yeah. and then mm -hmm. we put them on our sites, and that you know, yeah. a few thousand I, people see and see well, them. I'm, I feel as if we're preaching it to the converted. No, I think I think what you're doing is incredible. I think you are phenomenal for for <laughs> creating for creating this because the only true way to combat this is education, right? It's to get people aware, and I, even for myself, like I, 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 so because I'm documenting my family and I want to document my daughter's growth and little things like that, you know. It's really hard for me to share anything on social media, but if I do, I have to put a watermark on there. I have to put my name and website and all these different things, you know? And it's just so much work, but I have to because I don't want the other people to get, you know, victimized or whatever the case may be. But these fake accounts still uses my my pictures yes. with with my watermark, you know what I mean? And 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 some bogus name that they have. And luckily, because of that, I think a lot more of the victims now are messaging me sooner than before they're giving out money and all these other things. I'm finding yeah. that. Yeah. But once again, I think what you're doing is, is once again, phenomenal. And we applaud I you. I started this. this because my husband died many years ago, um, mm -hmm. 12 years ago now. And I made a Facebook page a couple of years later. And, and I put on there widowed. And it's a funny word because you don't really want to be it, but you are. So I put it on there. And all of a sudden, you know, I was very attractive to uh, a couple of US generals. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just the sort of person that would look at something and think, nah, mm -hmm. something not right, you know. And, and what, what, I, um, what I wanted to do was they didn't get me. I was very angry because they tried to get me. I was very angry when I realized that they're actually hunting online for women like me. They, mm -hmm. At the time, it was only really older widows that w were targeted. Now it's everybody. But I was angry that they were hunting widows. Um, and, and, and so I, I wanted to do something about it, basically. That, that's how it happened. Mm -hmm. It was nothing more deep than that. Um, but I always think that if I didn't fall for it, I don't want anybody else to. Mm -hmm. So if I didn't fall for it, my husband was a police officer. You know what mm -hmm. they're like, they never trust anything. You know, <laughs> um, you know, a police officer wants proof, you know, that red is red, really. Yeah. Um, and if I didn't fall for it, I want to not, I want to pass that on. So others don't fall for it either. Mm -hmm. You know, because you, we don't have to. But what I, I can fight for it. I have a wonderful, wonderful ladies from mm. everywhere that, that work on our pages. They are brilliant. Um, and But the thing is that we've got to get the word around and we proactively work on here to do that. What I get very angry with is the fact that you guys are not treated as humans. You are just a set of pictures. Yeah. You and your daughter are a set of pictures and they do not regard you as a person. It's, oh, he looks all right. He's got plenty of pictures and videos. Yeah, we'll have some of him. And then send it out. And that's inhuman mm -hmm. because you don't have a choice. Yeah. And mm. I'd love to know what to do other than drop a bomb. I don't know. You know, it, 
I, I, well, I think we're finding many more people now are coming to us and saying, is this real? Which is great, mm. which is fantastic. Yeah. Well, uh, just to add on another thing, because I, uh, I know at the initial, uh, when it, all this first started, there was a lot of widows that messaged me. Yeah. Uh, but now there are people that are in full-blown marriages, full-blown mm. relationships. They just kind of, these guys are just, they, what they don't know, they make up in numbers and they just hit everyone. And you don't find these situations where people are not happy with their marriage. They're, you know I mean, during COVID, people are just lonely and just little things like that. They target everyone. And some of these women are secretly sending them money and then now they get discovered and, they find out it's not real and they are so ashamed and they they no longer want to live and you know i feel like i'm i'm busy with my businesses and all you know all around the world right we have 13 countries we're doing so many different things but then i'm sitting here and i can't let this lady you know what i mean yeah, yeah so i'm You're trying to count I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah i'm trying to counsel her <laughs> life is too yeah. precious i mean i'm moving into this you know this other thing where i'm doing and i'm getting hundreds of these messages all the time and it's like, I, uh, you know, and my wife sees me right late, late, late at night because a lot of these are in international markets, right? Mm -hmm. And these women, they don't speak the language, they don't speak mm -hmm. English, so I'm using a translator. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. But I, I mean, like I said, I, I really, really, really appreciate this call. I really think that this is probably the Please. best way for us to, you know, to help what's happening in, in this generation. We use the calls for quite a long time after as well, mm -hmm. you know. So if somebody yeah. comes to us, and we must do it, I don't know how many times every day, somebody will come to us and say, I'm talking to these pictures. Can you tell me if he's real or not? Mm -hmm. And we can then turn around and say, no, he's not, because here he is talking about being his. Here he is mm -hmm. with his own voice, and he's telling you about his life and the fact that he has got a, a, a wife and a daughter. Mm -hmm. But the daughter's got a mother. You know, yeah. Um, and it's just to make you a lot more personal rather than just be a picture. Yeah. Because it really makes me angry. It really, it. All of us, we 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 sit we sit to the fact all the time. It really makes us angry that they they literally just go around thinking, oh, he looks as though he'd be all right. We'll pinch all of his life. We'll take mm -hmm. all of his life and we'll send it out to anybody we want to. And if there's one thing you should have control over, and it's what happens with your face and your mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. you know, it shouldn't be the way it is. So that was the idea. So thank you so much. Of course. Thank you so much for talking thank to Thank you for having me on. And, you know, just hope it does some good. You know, one day we're going to be able to sit here and, and it's gone because not it'll never go but it, it it can reduce down yeah you know so well i think hopefully instagram social media and all these things the technology will get better with face recognition because right now i'm able to find a lot of these fake accounts because they post it up and then social media alerts me to uh, a tag someone using my picture or i mean is it is it me in the picture right so that technology has really kind of helped me. So when someone posts up, oh, this person is a scammer, I'm automatically yeah. kind of alerted. So I can go yeah. message that person, hey, that's, that, that's, that's just my picture. That's not me. You know what I mean? So little things like that. So I believe, hope, you know, with faith, of course, right, in the future that that face recognition will be able to really it's help. It's just the way to me that can make as many fake accounts as they want to. Yep, unlimited. You delete, and, um, you delete one and hundreds more pop up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and that is the thing. There's, there's no, um, you don't need any ID to make a profile. Yeah. To me, it doesn't matter if, you, if you're going to take a few minutes to make one or even half a day to make one rather than 10 seconds. You know, it, you should have to prove who you are. And most people have got smartphones with a little bit of recognition in, you know, the, you some recognition or you know, facial recognition, whatever on that one. Mm. Um, and, and this famous ID, you know, mm. make, make somebody provide it. Yeah. But to be able to just make as many accounts as you like and to do with them what you like has got to be wrong. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's a whole different 
Politics no, I think, I think you're on point. You're on point. You're on point with that. So I'm, I'm with you on that one for sure. Okay, just a number they have to make it more difficult for someone to create an account because you have to yeah. prove who you are and all these mm. different things, you know? And, and you know, um, and then so they can only make one. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? Yeah, just, just, like, just, just like an ID, just like some kind of, you know what I mean? Just something that you can right. just make one, you know? You can only have one passport because, you know, there's this log somewhere that this is you, this yeah. is your details, and this is your picture. So yeah. why should your identity be able to be used online in any different way? So, but, you know, that's putting the world to rights again in a whole new way. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. I think that I think that if we spread a good idea long enough, it'll eventually materialize by someone, somewhere, somehow. So what we want to say to people is, if you are talking to mm. the pictures of this gentleman, you're not talking to him. He does not need any money. And sadly, he's not going to come to marry you. You're, <laughs> he already has a, a lovely wife and a beautiful <laughs> daughter who's got a lovely mother. So, you know, and, you yes. know, we, we try and let them down as nicely as we can. Yeah. You know, we so. have to be kind about this because most people are scammed because they're nice. You know, yeah. they, they, they've trusted, they have taken, um, yeah. they've taken everything that's come to them and they've trusted. And yeah. so that when they find out that it's not that person, it's you and you were never that person, then it takes a big hit to that trust, yeah. you know, and, and it's, it's really very, very sad. So thank you, Aaron. Thank yes. you very much. Yes, it's been man magnificent. Thank you so much for having me on. Have a good rest of your day. It's uh, it's twenty to eight now, so it's, it's <laughs> gin and tonic time for me. I think. Yes, um, early in the morning here in California. Well, yes, but you'll have the weather. <laughs> yes, we do. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, this is it. I'm moving because we never have <laughs> nice weather. So, anyway, thank you very much. Yes. And uh, you enjoy your day. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye now.